G'day, it's Pete here, and I'm back for some more ideas about improving Bridge. And today I wanted to look at the viewing experience of Bridge, or view graph, where you can watch experts play and how I think the whole experience could actually be improved. And today I want to talk about the timing of it, understanding their bids, what sort of commentary we've got, and more. But before we do, I want to look at the comments from the previous video talking about improving analysis. So here, uh, Magnus Christensen said, for analysis tools, I think it's unfortunately just quite difficult to make sense of the statistics section. And I think this is very true, but if you got more uh, statistics and look at it, then people could break down and, and say, what should you be looking for and things like that. Here, there's just really not much statistics and there's just early days. So I think as more grows, then you can look and learn, work out how to actually use that data better. And then the people that learn to use the data and improve from that can get more out of it and uh, enjoy that. But it definitely is difficult to look at at the moment. And another interesting one is uh, a whole bunch of people were talking about a offline bridge app that can be done on your on your smartphone called Neural Play. I haven't actually checked this out, but they were mentioning that it had a bunch of the uh, ideas that I was talking about. Um, so that, uh, for instance, you've got the additional feature to show where you can bid or hint. Um, you can also uh, go through and get the uh, robots to play the hands for you. So I'm definitely going to go check that out in a bit. So uh, if you want to, uh, Bridge by Neural Play um, is another way that you can check for sort of playing offline on your, on your phone. So can worthwhile giving that a shot. Paul Gibson said, Bridge Composer has the option to have four robots. Uh, w Bridge 5, uh, which is the current uh, computer bridge champion um, to bid and play the hands. It takes about a minute per hand, but I suspect that's uh, just for interfacing. So it uh, could be improved there, but like they can do it. it it's an option there. So um, yeah. And Jose Miguel uh, said, I would very much like a tool similar to Double Dummy, but instead of highlighting the best play for the specific hand, it would show the percentage play given the information available. Uh, yeah, so like I reckon that's totally uh, the end goal that um, I'd want to see there. Uh, a lot of work would have to um, go into doing it. It's not just easy to do, but definitely I reckon that would be the end goal where like, hey, these are your different options. You could take the finesse, which is 50-50. You could play for this suit to be breaking 3-2, which is uh, like 68%. So uh, they're the sorts of things that I reckon would be what I would want people to work to. So yeah, uh, so that were some of the uh, comments that we uh, looked over for improving bridge analysis. Anyway, uh, let's jump back and look at talking about ViewGraph. So let's look at what ViewGraph actually is at the moment. Um, so when you play an elite level tournament, they'll have some view graph tables, not always all the tables, sometimes it is. Uh, and what you'll have is the four people playing uh, playing their cards, but just standing just behind someone at the edge of the table. They've got a laptop, they've got the hand on the computer, and they're just clicking in the uh, plays for all the people that are doing that. And th then you can log into BBO and watch from home. What are the experts actually doing now? Currently I find it almost impossible to actually watch this. And this mainly comes down to the timing of the hand. It is sometimes unbearably slow when you're looking at all the cards and you're not the one trying to actually analyze it. Often for elite tournaments, the pacing of that is a bit slower. And sometimes they can have th thoughts for like 10 minutes at a time where nothing actually happens. And it can be uh, a bit tedious to actually watch. So one of the ways that I would want people to improve the view graph experience is I wish that they had like a delay on uh, view graph. Let's say that they started an hour after the people actually playing. And then what you could do is if you ever registered that no move has been, no play has been done for at least 10 seconds, then you start and just chop that time out. And that way, if someone has a 10 minute think, you don't see that in the end. So I want it basically to start compressing down the, uh, the break. So they start an hour before you and they start playing. The computer program says, hey, no play has been put in um, for 10 seconds. Let's put a marker here. Uh, for where we want to uh, chop out. And until the play happens, they then just remove that time so that the viewers don't have to sit there for that entire 10 minutes. 
but actually just get like a 10 second uh, break between plays or however long uh, you actually deem appropriate there. And then what would happen is while it starts an hour later, the people watching will probably get close to about the right time that uh, when the real players are finished. So towards the end of the match, it's kind of like you're watching live. You're not that far behind. Now, the precise timing of this, I don't actually know, but I reckon uh, being able to cut out all those gaps by just installing a bit of delay, using a bit of programming to work out, hey, nothing's been done. Let's not just make the viewers waste 10 minutes of their time looking at this. I reckon that would be essential for improving the uh, viewing experience of the entire game. Um, so that's the first thing that I would really want to see. The uh, second one that I want to talk about is understanding bids. So, so if you're watching ViewRough, you often don't know what the bids people actually are doing. So I brought up a uh, just one of the last matches that actually happened. And this was just the first board that I clicked on. Okay, so they had this auction here where I went two no, three hearts, four spades, four no, five clubs, five no, six hearts, six spades. They get to six spades. And as a viewer, you don't actually know what any of these bids actually mean. As an expert commentator, you can probably tell what some of these are. Hey, three hearts looks like a transfer. Four spades is a super except four no, this is probably key card. Five clubs showed one or four. Five no says we've got them all and six hearts says I've probably got the king of hearts. And they said, okay, let's play six spades. So that's like my guess at what this auction actually means. But when you're watching, these bids just pop up. And if you don't have someone to explain or you don't know, you can't actually do it. Now, what I would like to see is before people go into these elite tournaments that they have like a maybe 10 minutes sometime bef like days before the event actually happened or ages before, whenever they want. If they're a high level player, they're complete uh, like a digital form where they put in some of their common bids. Now you don't need to know all of these bids explained uh, fully, but if you can have some of the ones which pop up, which come up frequently that just look confusing to people, if they can spend 10 minutes entering in some of the data so that when it, they play on ViewGraph, it shows up kind of like when playing with a robot does with a little pop-up explaining what the bids are. Just with 10 minutes, you could cover like quite a lot of your common situations. Now, I wouldn't expect this auction to be sort of in there. This one isn't a particularly common one, but if you covered a, a bunch of them, then you could just rely on the commentators to cover uh, the rest of the more unusual ones that could actually explain it. For instance, uh, to go into the uh, World Championships, you already have to submit a system card. So the World Championships is coming up and all the players in here long before have actually uh, submitted their system cards explaining what their bids actually mean. Finding this is a bit of a, a nightmare, but uh, they're already playing at this elite level. They're doing that. I don't see this being a bigger challenge, but it would significantly improve uh, the viewing experience of people having not to guess what all these bids mean, but just being able to say, oh, hey, this one's a transfer and this one shows first or second round control or this is what their key card is. Some of those bids I'd really like to see pop up. Another thing about ViewGraph is uh, there's a couple of different sites. Um, so Lovebridge is another site where you can watch ViewGraph on. They um, uh, for uh, the elite level competitions start, are starting to have people play on uh, tablets. Um, so they're played in like separate rooms. Uh, this isn't like all the competitions, but uh, once you get to the pointy end of some of the US nationals, maybe also at some point in the world, this might be happening. Um, they're played on tablets, usually in separate rooms as a way of eliminating cheating. And uh, basically, uh, if it's here, you can check it out on their view graph uh, up here. So that's Love Bridge. And uh, you can go back and see some of the uh, previous events there. It'll still be on BBO as well. Uh, so you can go into view graph. Uh, there's currently none here, um, but you can check out the schedule. And if you ever missed anything, you can click on the archive here. The next thing I wanted to talk about is uh, the type of commentary that often happens uh, in ViewGraph. Now, uh, the people that do commentary uh, for these events, they're doing it completely 
unpaid just out of the passion of doing it, which is fantastic. So I don't want to take anything away from them. But what I want to suggest is what I would like to see commentary sort of angled to be. And uh, for this, I reckon ViewGraph should really be aimed at new players, trying to highlight new players, how the elite players actually play. The commentary is not very useful for already the high level people because they're already pretty good at analyzing the same hands. Currently, I see what happens is uh, a number of commentators will just say, okay, uh, they're going to make this result. Oh, the match is probably going to go in their favor. And basically, you can check, click double dummy solver and uh, stuff like that. What I want to see is aiming it for the new players. I want them to say, if we're just having a standard auction, how would we actually try and bid it? And then try and explain the differences between how we would bid it with a standard auction and what the experts are doing. Also, in the play, what sort of challenges do they have? If they are thinking, what could they be thinking about? What sort of problems are they trying to see that, um, because we can see the entire hand, it's not clear. So cover what sort of things that they're thinking about. Also highlight maybe what a basic plan on the hand could be so that then you can actually see the discrepancies for it. Or if you're really well prepared, some trivia facts about the players or the history of the event, who's actually won that previously. And then the next thing that I'd want to do is just be able to see people's faces. Uh, this is what the current setup's done. Uh, like now this is uh trian chira he's actually um a local melbourneite um like me and this is how it was set up and this was uh when the cheating scandal happened um this was the like critical stuff that helped analyze you could see all the plays and record it but i'd really like to be able to see people's faces and expressions and uh, get into that um so i'd want more cameras you can still have one of these top down ones but actually see what all the players are like not just the bold spots of the different players um so I want to see like another revamp of this that highlights some more of that. So I reckon being able to see their faces can make it so more personal and you can also get to recognize some of the top players that are there uh, playing and like when they're struggling, what's actually happening. So, and finally, I want to talk about a cool feature that I wish they made more accessible or obvious that you can actually do. You can actually play the hands that the people on ViewGraph play and see how you would do it as well. So. Here you can click into casual and go start a table with three robots. Um, if you want to play with a person, you can uh, just remove and uh, reserve the uh, table for your partner. But then if you click the three blue lines, you can go over to deal source and then either randomly selected view graph deals or select a spe specific match. So let's uh, see if we want to go to the spin gold, which just uh, happened and you can click get matches. And let's say we want to play the final, uh, spin gold final, and then we can uh, click okay. And then as we, uh, it will bring up the boards, you can play it, and then you'll be able to see what actually happens at the other table. So uh, let's say, oh, I, I want to pass here. Or maybe you want to bid two clubs. So let's say we bid two clubs, I probably would pass, but uh, then we can see how the uh, hand would actually play out. And you can then compare with what actually happened um, with the other tables. How did your bidding affect it? How did all that happen? Uh, but here you can see that, oh, they, they bid to three no trumps and they bid to three no trumps in both of these. And we managed to win 10.5. So you can actually see how they did. So you can play the boards and experience it that way. I reckon this is a cool feature that I would wish that uh, was more prominent and more people got to use. And uh, it was a way to actually do that. But I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And love to know your thoughts on uh, improving ViewGraph experience. What would you do to try and make it better and more accessible for everyone? Thanks all for watching, and we'll see you next time.